Well, detectives are searching for the hit and run driver who killed a retired Chicago police officer on the city's northwest side last night. WGN's Rob Sneed is live in Edison Park with more. Rob. Yeah, that retired police officer is the father of three, and tonight police are just trying to find any information they can to locate the person that hit him and left him for dead. I was at home when I got the call, um, and there's at first it's shock. It's like that, you know, with any of your friends, you know, you're it's like surreal, I guess. I, I don't know, I can't think of the right word, you know, just um, in disbelief because he's so young, you know, and just uh, you're like, are you sure? Cause of death. You know, someone hitting him and killing him instantly it was horrible. And today, even today, I'm still shaking from it because he was a very close, dear friend, and nobody should die like that. Richard Haljean's friends are still shaken. Robert Drell is Haljean's eldest son's godfather. He's frustrated and can't stop asking what kind of person would hit someone with their car and leave them for dead. Water in their veins, you ever hear the expression, water in their veins? I don't know whether a person was drunk or whatever, but it doesn't matter. You stop and you under emergency assistance. Authorities say the 57-year-old retired Chicago police officer was trying to cross the street at the 7600 block of West Huey Avenue. They say a Jeep traveling westbound hit him and kept going. EMS took Haljing to the hospital where the veteran was pronounced dead. He did his time in the Marines. Uh, you know, he served our country. Uh, just an all-around great, great guy. Um, do anything for you. As Haljing's friends continue to mourn, Chicago police are continuing their search for a suspect. We send our condolences out uh, today. What a tragic, tragic thing for the families. And our prayers are with the family as well in conducting a full investigation to bring the offender to justice. Anyone with any information about this hit and run is asked to call police. Reporting live on the city's northwest side, Rob Sneed, WGN News.